welcome back to a lecture series on gis in this lecture now we are going to do the overlay analysis uh, the overlay analysis which is the major analytical tool normally being used uh, people used to say that this is the basic requisite one if uh, doing uh, gis studies and uh, th there are many of course we will see how uh, uh, overlay analysis uh, is being carried out in our GIS. It is nothing but merging of multiple adjacent layer and split the multiple layers from a grouped layer and union the layers. Now, it's what does it mean? Union, split. Uh, there are three stages uh, steps involved. The first step is adding multiple adjacent layer data and process. The second stage step is uh, adding excel table data for the process the third stage is the usage of union split and merge there are three stages so we will see one by one how union is done and how split is done how merge is done in rgis uh, so rgis is now open and we have to add the data now uh, now we will see the first one Union. Now I am adding the data. Sorry. Um, so land use land cover uh, LULC. Uh, so I am adding settlements. Uh, you can also add uh, from your data sources folder uh, connections in the catalog. And I am also adding. Mm, so, this is the catalog and uh, this is the folder connection. Once if you do the folder connection, your all uh, existing digitized for, I mean databases will come here. You can uh, drag uh, the data from here to here. Now, I am taking the boundary and the boundary dot shape file. Now, two datas are there settlements and uh, boundary. Right, uh, you, you have to drag uh, by using this button, uh, maybe uh, you buy, I mean settlements down and then set settlement stop and uh, boundary in the down. Look at the boundary, open uh, the boundary and you see your attributes, read the attributes. Uh, unwanted field you can delete by selecting uh, right click and uh, delete field. So now shape length, area and name uh, it is there, right, island is there, uh, gulf of Mannar and land, there are two, three major objects. And the first one is the polygon uh, of the gulf of Mannar region, second polygon is the gulf land region. So I have to take the land region. Uh, I mean polygon uh, field ID 1, uh, polygon uh, right click, you just field calculator or calculate geometry and you have to calculate the square kilometer, then only you will know how much, you see now it is converted. The total land area is 1239.8 square kilometer and you see the properties, field properties. You don't need much uh, decimals, you can reduce the decimals now. 1239.77 is the land area. So, now the land area is uh, shown and settlements, you open the settlements and you have that the area of the settlements are here and uh, the, these are all the different villages uh, in the study area uh, digitized uh, from the village boundary map. Uh, and uh, the urban locations are there, thermal plant is there, um, yep, I mean, uh, port is there. Now I am going to uh, make union uh, by using this two data sets. So I am just going with uh, the analysis tool extract sorry overlay union right. First uh, I am going to do the union. Um, So, 
so uh, this tool i am just double clicking this tool and you can see the help also right side what is union how the union is there uh, you take two databases and what will be the output you see this is two databases union together and then the output is merging these two not merging i mean adding these two together settlements uh, and this is boundary right boundary is bigger settlement is smaller so now you take uh, the settlements uh, sorry boundary first settlements together and then give the uh, output as boundary union buffer boundary union and that's it give okay and you can also change in case if you want to change the name of the output file overlay so union save feature class save okay you see at the bottom uh, it is processing union union So the result has come immediately in no second. Open the attribute table. Now you see that uh, both uh, the boundary and uh, the uh, what is that? The boundary and the villages are I mean together uh, it is club club union joined together and this is the result of union output. So you convert this into square kilometer and then check. Now the area uh, for every, for, I mean villages uh, is now DJ. So this is the process behind the union. Suppose if you have any idea for your work, you can take it uh, how to do union with this uh, methodology. Now we will go to the second one, how to do split. Union is joining and splitting is removing out. So similarly we have to take the databases first. In the overlay you have your union shape uh, which was now added together and you have your boundary shape. We will take Tutukudi in shape, it means all the districts of Tutukudi, uh, all the taluks of Tutukudi is now here, Tutukudi district. There are 8 in number, 6, 7 in number. Once if we click the database attribute, uh, it is connected with the map, you see the map window is turned blue in color. So that is the selected. Uh, uh, taluk of uh, Tutukudi district. If you are going, if you are interested uh, to take up only one, you can split from the common uh, database shape file. So these are all the basic process involved in uh, Vilati Kulam is taken. So if I am I am interested to study with Vilati Kulam, I can open, I can label the feature and see. Now the labeling is no different. You will have to take the properties and give the name of the taluk in the label. Now I have to select uh, here the taluk name. Apply. Now you see Vilatikulam is selected. Vilati name has come as a Taluk name.
double click uh, for splitting you can double click give the input data split features what you want to split output will come as into four zones now i am going to take only the selected attribute i mean vilathikulam and this is the examples of help menu and input file is thutukudi and the split feature you have to select now and now the field i have to show i am just taking the name 3 so i have to select the vilathikulam Now uh, look at that, uh, it takes time, it is now getting processed. Now you see it is splitted all uh, uh, taluk based on the name. And you can drag uh, all the all the shapes uh, into the map and check, you see now only one uh, shape file is coming. What it, what it does uh, uh, that it is splitted every taluk into a separate shape file. Or you can select, uh, select uh, right click uh, extract feature also we can do. So that is the simple way and uh, suppose if you have a number of taluk uh, in a district or a number of district in a state, uh, if number of polygons are more in one click uh, the split uh, split operations will do to split the images into various uh, sub maps and you just click and see separate shape files are there. This is how we do split analysis. Now uh, split. Uh, Split, uh, the, these are the basic uh, requisite uh, for one to do it in GIS. One should know how to do union, one should know how to do split. All these operations are frequently we will be using it. We can also split uh, the not only polygon, we also can do with uh, the lion object with bar polygon object. Now, uh, I would like to split the road uh, connectivity and I have taken the road uh, from the district map. I am interested to, I mean, split the roads of uh, uh, Tutukudi coastal regions. Uh, I am just making a split uh, the input feature. You can see the right side uh, help uh, what is split, uh, how splits are there. You can take uh, the, uh, I mean, the help from the right side and then take the input feature as buffer boundary. And uh, you can take, you know, that uh, you, uh, not one minute. Road network you have to take and you have to take Tutukudi buffer boundary and uh, split field. So now you have to give the split field. Name one, sorry, name. And keep your files uh, uh, in in the output folder. Okay. It is you see the bottom split process. It takes only few seconds. Now the result has come. And uh, open the overlay and check whether the split result is there. Yes, uh, land shape and uh, this is Gulf of Manar. You just you see that uh, your roads are. I mean, uh, splitted from the main roads of the district or uh, with respect to the area of our investigation. So, this is one PhD work of our team members, my, my research team. And, uh, this is how we do splitting. Splitting is done like this and then we will go to the third uh, work that is called merge. So, merging uh, uh, also you can do, you have done uh, splitting of uh, different taluk, uh, now we will see how to merge the different taluk. Uh, now, different taluks are there adjacent to the, uh, I mean, la, I mean the, the coast, uh, this is the total uh, taluks of Tutukudi district, we will now merge this, all uh, this we will merge.
again you have to take of course it is there in the data management tool uh, in case if you don't know the tool where it is available it is in general i know if you don't know what you can do you can also check uh, with the uh, what is that you can also you merge is here in geo processing here also you can do the merging uh, and uh, suppose in toolbox that is the way in which it is i advise that you will have to explore more in the toolbox uh, suppose in case if i could not be able to found where it is it is in data management general i know pretty well but uh, sometimes uh, you will be you know that uh, you, uh, you will not know that where the tool is the toolkit there for that we have to do go to the help menu and ask okay we will uh, i will also tell you that how to do with the uh, help menu and ask no i am just to showing you that uh, how to find out i know that where it is you go to search and here you just type uh, the merge just delete and you can type no issues delete search type merge it will show you where the tool uh, kid is there you see it is there here uh, in the uh, in the toolboxes system toolboxes data management uh, data management you see it is in general you can click here or you can go to the r toolbox data management uh, data management in general you just extend uh, the general and see that merge is here double click merge and here you can use uh, how to merge the different taluks together otherwise you can take it from the geo processing tool every day you have to work with the map then only we can becoming a, i mean uh, i mean we will understand how this is working and uh, it is more compatible to us and we will explore more as i said the tools are more in arcgis but only 5 to 10% are being explored by many uh, many those who are working in this uh, we have to basically read the text of uh, the Uh, and we have to add everything now i have added um, and i can select any of the attributes otherwise simply give okay it takes time you see the processing it's not taking much time it is merged you remove all your individual file and then check uh, so it takes the first name vilatikula merge now all things are merged so we have seen union we have seen uh, split we have seen the split also sorry merge also together how the different polygons are merged together now let us see the final one of join how to join the data um, you have plenty of data like rainfall water level geophysical data top soil thickness weather zone thickness and other work like climatic parameters if you collect the database and population databases if you have databases in excel we will be able to uh, link the data we will see how to link the data first we will take the stations so this is the stations rainfall stations of uh, the study area of one of my research scholar and uh, now i am going to add uh, the rainfall details into it so once if i add the rainfall detail then i can go for mapping uh, how to do mapping of uh, the rainfall uh, by means of interpolation spatial interpolation that we will see little later and uh, in a separate exercise so these are the station name you can label uh, your uh, station name and see that uh, how it is distributed you can also take join and relates uh, to your data otherwise you can also take it from the toolbox we will see first data how it is in detail i have kept it in the desktop sorry in the local disk uh, i'll show you how the data we have collected from the uh, i mean the meteorological department uh, there is a procedure for collecting the data you have to make a request and and the payment has to be done uh, and with respect to how many years of data you are now looking for normally we do with 20 years of two decades of data to check whether what is the uh, with respect to a particular rainfall station gis helps in understanding with various mapping characteristics uh, Uh, we do, and then uh, there is a data. I am just checking now. Uh, it is too much rainfall. 
um, the data we have splitted for uh, that is why it is put uh, splits SPI GIS. So we have collected the data right from 1990 to 2000, uh, some 20 years of data. Mm. Sometimes you know that the data is splitted. If uh, uh, the data is now going to be linked now, I mean joined. We will see how to join the data. Here the table is here and uh, latitude, longitude, station, station ID. The, it is blank here. Once if we join all the data, so you can find all the data uh, uh, adjacent to this. Don't save, save, save. Add data. You have to select the sheet and then now join open the data. Now you see you have the data now open. Some of the data are showing in uh, negative numbers. This is for uh, the examples given here. Uh, actually, the, the rainfall is not uh, negative numbers. You have station uniqueness and uh, in the data sheet you open, you have again a data station uniqueness. Now you are going to say in your computer that uh, take the station as a common field and uh, join whatever the attributes in the sheet, Excel sheet, so that uh, the system will and the system will store, uh, I mean, joined uh, or uh, relate the databases now. You can also use station ID or you can also use station name. Station name, station ID, both are same in both uh, the data sets. You can use any of one parameters, one field to be a common field to match so that uh, the system will see to only that particular field to join uh, the databases. You can you have two things now to join. Uh, you take. Uh, one is, uh, otherwise you can also right click and join here also. But it is temporary join, there if you do it, it is a permanent join. You can also remove the item afterwards. Join field. I am now joining the data. Station, station ID and here you can take anything. And similarly, which table you want to join, sheet, and here also you have to use uh, station and uh, join field also you have to say, say station or station ID, station ID we have given, we have given both station ID. Here also you can tick uh, station, station ID to join together and select all, all the fields has to be uh, joined for all the, suppose if you want only one uh, column to be joined, that also we can do. Otherwise, select all and then give join. Okay. Now you see the bottom field join field is is in work operation. You can also check catalog the stations open attribute table. It is not connected. I mean the work. I mean it is in process. Join. Station, choose the station. Station ID and choose station ID. Actually, okay. Right click and check. You see now it is joined. All uh, the rainfall data and uh, the station is joined now. You can check all the data is joined with the uh, location of rainfall which you have assigned. This is how join uh, uh, joining the data is done. You can also remove the data if you don't want to keep it in your GIS environment. Now we have seen in this exercise uh, 
union split merge and join uh, so all things are over with respect to overlay analysis tools in gis with this uh, the lecture is is come to an end thank you very much